We're here with a small HD here at IBC, and who are you? Uh, my name is Mike Ashman, and I'm actually the marketing manager for Small HD. Uh, and we're here at IBC 2017, uh, showing off some awesome products. And uh, this is very popular, right? Uh, this is extremely popular. Uh, this is the Small HD Focus. It's our five-inch touchscreen daylight viewable monitor uh, that is kind of built for these uh, uh, camera single camera operators. Uh, made really well for the uh, A7s. Uh, and increases their battery life, uh, applies a bunch of tools. It's just a really awesome. How do you uh, increase brightness? Uh, on these, um, so what you would do is you would actually go into the menu system here, and there's actually a backlight slider uh, that you can uh, slide that right up. And uh, so you can increase your brightness really easily there. So uh, you're doing some really cool UIs and stuff. Uh, it's touch, very smooth. Yeah. What's going on? What's the... Um, this is like a, a brain here. This, uh, uh, this, what's this... Uh, yeah, it's actually... System? It's a custom-designed uh, FPGA that we have inside that we've developed internally uh, to basically just be the best for uh, awesome monitoring experience. And let's try a little bit more the, the UI. But is this UI, is it the same on the big one there? Uh, yeah, this UI is the same across all of our products. So let's check out this one. This is new. Right. Yeah, this is. This is our uh, this unit right here is our new 1703 P3X. We actually debuted it here at the show. Uh, and so if we go through the system here, basically we just access everything through the joystick. Uh, and this brings up our tool system. So if I just go to the plus icon, uh, you can kind of see, start to see where all of our tools are. So we have framing tools, uh, we have exposure tools, uh, we have scopes. We have focus tools, focus assist, which is edge detection and peaking, which is based on sharpness. Uh, and then you can obviously add uh, 3D lookup tables. You can do image overlay, uh, audio meters, SDI data, and then you can also crop and scale the image and position it on the screen. So you assist uh, uh, somebody that does the manual focus yeah. on the side, right? Yeah. And this is something that you do just by the signal that you're getting. Yeah. So you, you're not using the camera's autofocus system or anything? No, so you're not using the camera's uh, focus system. What you're doing is you're relying on uh, the monitor itself with its uh, focus tools that are built inside to do uh, the focusing for you. We can easily add one of those tools. Uh, so if I just go here and we go to focus assist, it automatically turns it on to the default setting. And now I can go into the screen. We can customize the color. So it can be something really bright that we can easily see. Uh, we can change the sensitivity. And we can change our peak threshold, which is just uh, how picky uh, the setting is. Uh, we can actually turn the screen black and white uh, so you can easily see what is going to be in focus in your shot. Nice. Yeah, and with all of our tools, when they are on, they're lit up green here. And they're really easy to just toggle on and off. So you can either have the tool on or you can easily have it off. If you have a tool on here, you can easily go to another page and set up a whole bunch of new tools. Nice. So, so there's a plus sign over there. Yeah. And that means you just add the stuff you want. Yeah. So even and you can if, have a row of them. Yeah. Even if we have focus assist now turned on, it doesn't limit us. We can completely we can stack keep stacking features. So let's try if, another cool if one. If I wanted a waveform on the same page, we can go ahead and add that. Uh, and it defaults to a Luma with a black opacity layer. Um, and so, but we can fully customize that. And we actually now for waveform we have spot metering. And if I turn that on, a uh, block appears. And I can customize the shape and size of that. And we can actually move it around the uh, screen. And uh, if we get a signal back here, uh, we can actually show exposure values based on the waveform. And this is very bright. Bright display. Uh, yeah, it's a very bright display. We consider 800 nits plus to be daylight viewable. Uh, and this monitor calibrated to the DCI-P3 color space is over 900 nits. So you can uh, you can use this even without any shades or anything? Uh, yeah, yeah. Basically, what we're starting to call them is privacy shades because you're not needing those to block out the sun. You can take this anywhere on set. So this is great for production uh, use, and with it being so color accurate, it's also very usable for post production. So uh, you tell us shortly about the company. Uh, how old is the company? When was it started? And where are you based? Uh, yeah. So Small HD itself is over eight years old. We're actually based in uh, North Carolina in the United States. Uh, just outside of Raleigh. Uh, so, and monitoring is what we do. Uh, it's what we've done the whole entire time. We saw a real need. Uh, we were actually uh, film, we were creators ourselves and making content. Uh, and uh, we were struggling with uh, being able to view images. And so we actually developed an on-camera solution for ourselves and thought more people would find this useful.
Uh, so we actually started developing monitors and selling monitors and the company just grew from there. And getting good displays in there is not so easy to get good displays, right? The, no, the one that have the... Yeah, there's a lot of science to uh, display technology. Uh, you can't just get an uh, image uh, screen like this and just make it bright. Uh, a lot of times you lose gamma, you lose saturation, uh, and so what we do is uh, we really want to make sure that we can provide brightness while still providing a really accurate and uh, beautiful picture. Is this uh, ready for HDR? Uh, yeah, this actually is ready for HDR. So uh, if I go into the menu system, uh, and let me, I'm just going to turn on this calibration LUT, and now if I go into the input, I can select a color space. Right now we're in a default Rec. 709, this footage is already graded. Uh, but you have various uh, spaces here for HDR. So Rec 2020 is in here, uh, this color space. Obviously it's on a, a already processed image so it looks a little bit crazy. But you can actually adjust the individual black level and white level uh, to really customize the HDR preview that you're seeing. Can you kind of like load some kind of LUT or something like that? Uh, yeah, you can actually load a LUT. Uh, that wouldn't go here. This is basically reading uh, what your camera is outputting. Uh, but yeah, you can load 3D LUTs via an SD card slot in the front of the monitor. And so, and that opens right there. yeah, this opens right here. There's an SD card slot right there. What else do you do with this? Uh, with the SD card slot, we also do uh, screen grabs like image captures. And we can overlay those on top of an image so you can actually, and change the opacity. So we use that for continuity between scenes to make sure everything is lined up exactly the way it was the last time you shot it. And this solution that you have, uh uh, your FPGA kind of solution is all about display monitoring only, right? Uh, uh, it's a different world to start making a recorder. That's not what you're doing. Uh, no, right now we are corely focused on uh, excellent monitoring solutions on set. Uh, and so what we want to do is make sure that we can provide uh, somebody with all the tools and assets and resources that they can need inside of a monitor. Uh, and so uh, recording is uh, something that's potentially on the horizon, uh, but we're solely focused on providing the best monitoring experience possible. So this is the one that's uh, near the director's chair, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right he's sitting comfortably, he's checking out what is going on. This is going to be a really interesting one because not only is it great for the director, it's a great client monitor because it's beautiful, um, but being 900 nits bright, you're going to have your ACs and stuff trying to get in on this monitor to pull focus because they're going to be able to see it so easily. And it's really going to make your colorist life easier because the monitor is super color accurate. Um, so he's going to be really excited about the fact of uh, what, uh, being able to, the fact that everybody's looking at a monitor that's like this on set that's so color accurate. And uh, this is uh, being released right very soon? Uh, it's a, that's a ship by date. Uh, that's actually ship by September uh, 30th and we actually launched here at the show. Uh, so you can go ahead and order these uh, today on www.smallhd.com. And uh, this kind of pricing is, is that uh, what kind of competition do you have in that space? Uh, honestly, uh, what, in the space that we're in right now, uh, Sony is definitely considered competition, and uh, we're very competitive with our pricing for the feature set that we're offering. And you have, it's, it's about features also, that's yeah. kind of unique? Yeah, absolutely. The, the page builder system in itself is a completely unique system. Uh, no other monitor on the market allows you to customize uh, as many features as us and make it so specific to users with focusing tools, exposure tools. It can really, it can be such a great asset for so many people on set. And this one is uh, actually great for Sony cameras because um, if you can grab that, ca that, um, that people can take off the Sony battery. Yeah. And you can power it right here and have much longer battery. Yeah, so the, the Sony cameras are great. We love them, but the, one of the issues is battery life. Uh, they made the cameras really small, so there's a small battery in here. But what we're doing here is we're actually running seven two-point volt uh, out into the camera via dummy battery into the bottom. And what that's doing is that's providing power for the entire unit. So you're going to see two to three times the battery life uh, for the entire unit that you would just running the camera. Uh, and another thing that that allows is with a dummy battery being in here, we're taking away the, a lot of the heat uh, that's inside of the Sony camera. So we're able to eliminate a lot of the overheating issues uh, that some people may have faced. And so when you launched this at the NAB, right? Yeah, we launched this at NAB. It's been a blockbuster and uh, out of stock. Yeah, it's out of stock. Uh, I mean, we're always accepting orders. We're on back order at the moment. 
Uh, but it's a fantastic product, and more and more people are seeing it and loving it. And four ninety nine, so, right? Yeah, four ninety nine is the uh, price for this. So actually, Sony should uh, should love your company, right? They, yeah, right. They, they they are very happy with this. We are playing of. nice together, so yeah. it just helps. It's we're all about workflow at Small HD and making the best workflow possible for the cinematographer. What's the resolution? Uh, this is a 720p resolution, but that's 294 pixels per inch on the 5 inch. So it's a really high pixel density that's above the retina standard. Uh, so it's a really crisp, sharp image that you're going to be seeing.